So, Rodrigue Zello, you are an expert on illegal migration for Europol. Could you introduce your organization? Yes, thank you very much. I'm representing here Europol. Europol is the European Police Office based in The Hague, in the Netherlands. And uh, we are supporting member states according with our legal mandate in order to better fight against uh, criminal activities, transnational criminal activities, and also terrorism. So one of the main priorities, as you can imagine nowadays, is the fight against uh, illegal immigration, taking into account the current situation and the current trends in terms of uh, refugees uh, coming into the European Union. What policies does it advocate in relation to preventing and fighting migrants trafficking? Well, preventing and fighting against uh, criminal activities and uh, criminal networks dealing uh, with uh, Ill facilitation of illegal immigration is a top priority not just for Europol but also for member states. We have in place currently many different projects, many uh, ongoing uh, uh, new approaches. One of them, for instance, is uh, Joint Operational Team MARE. It's a uh, totally new approach from Europol in order to better support member states, focusing on the Mediterranean area and also in some uh, transit and destination countries. Uh, we are cooperating with some operational partners such as uh, Interpol and uh, concrete member states, 13 member states from South Area but also transit and destination countries. We have also in place some different proposals, uh, also taking into account the current situation uh, in terms of illegal immigration impacting within the European Union. We are monitoring on a daily basis uh, the migration uh, flows towards the European Union. Uh, the, we call it a Europol monitoring team. So together with EASO, Frontex and input from member states, we are trying to provide with a comprehensive overview about what is going on uh, in terms of illegal immigration, migration flows in, in combination with criminal activities and also public order. We have uh, some other initiatives and projects ongoing, uh, always working together with liaison officers deployed uh, in The Hague and also with law enforcement authorities uh, on a national basis. In a daily basis, we are copying high priority cases in ongoing investigation together with uh, prosecutors and, uh, and a judiciary in Eurojust and also, for instance, in uh, new uh, places such as the hotspot. The hotspot is a new approach coming from the Commission and some member states where all the EU agencies are called to better provide support to member states and law enforcement authorities. Now in Italy, uh, one uh, colleague, police, uh, Europol pol uh, officer, uh, is deployed on a permanent basis in Catania in Italy in order to better support law enforcement authorities in Italy in order to dismantle organized crime groups. This is something that we are working together with uh, EASO, European Asylum Support Office, also Eurojust, Frontex, and uh, UNAP for the military operation uh, in the Mediterranean. We have also some new proposals coming from Europol. That's why Europol is uh, today at the, uh, the Council of Europe in order to get uh, some uh, extra support for the uh, political environment because uh, now it's time for a new approach uh, from different uh, parties and one of them is uh, the creation of a new center smuggling uh, at Europol headquarters where all, all the member states should be involved in order, in order to better support those hotspots you know, in, a, in a really quick and fast manner with some flexibility in place and uh, try to create some kind of uh, investigative teams with uh, police officers. Thank you, Mr. Rodriguez, for these precisions. Thank okay, you. pleasure.